one thing that's interesting is I think that I don't appreciate it nearly as much as some other people do. Just being honest, like if you think about it, I'm a coder at heart. 30 under 30 wasn't really something that was constantly on my radar. It's not something I was really following. Um, I knew about it uh, like most people do, but um, I think once I uh, got it, I mean, I think things changed in regards to people's perception of me. I, I, I'll be real, like there are, so, it just, it makes some people feel a certain type of way. Maybe people who are more involved in the finance world or the business world or sort of follow a lot of those types of um, uh, threads, like they've kind of, uh, it's, it's clear they, they, see me somewhat differently um but i've had to operate like i've had to almost prepare and embrace for that because that's happened kind of uh in smaller ways along the way as well right as you know jumping ship and creating a company then getting into tech stars then getting funded and then hiring this awesome team and then having a partnership with facebook like it's sort of this uh, pro uh this progression of um seeing how people are behaving around me if that makes sense um and so what i've had to do is be very straightforward, like, yo, I'm a dude, like <laughs> I'm a human. And I think because uh, God has transformed the way that I see people in general, meaning whenever I am in the same room with like a millionaire or a billionaire, I mean, some founders, they kind of get a little nervous, they get a little shaky. Um, but for me, because I know uh, the lens that God has on, on all of us and that we are just his creation and we are humans on the, sort of the same level and we all have the same value and worth in his eyes. I think because of that, it makes me not really, um, put myself on a pedestal because I know who I was. Like I even wrote this in uh, the, um, uh, the the Facebook post and the LinkedIn posts around being thankful for uh, being selected as this year's Forbes 30 under 30. Like uh, I just wanted to remind people, look, this is where I came from. This is who I was. I know how wretched and sinful I was. Like I know like uh, God's still working in me and I'm still growing in my maturity. And I know at the end of the day, like I don't deserve his grace. And so because of that, there's no reason for me to put myself on a higher pedestal than someone else. I'm thankful for what Forbes does. It does give investors and other entrepreneurial type people or even employees that we might want to hire in the future. It gives them more confidence in uh, our ability to execute uh, or maybe even more confidence in showing that God is doing something crazy here at Immersion, is opening doors in a very unique way. And so it helps give them confidence to back us or, or be involved in all that type of stuff. But um, I'm just constantly reminding them, look, I'm a dude. I'm just like... I need just I need Jesus just as much as you do. So, yeah, <laughs> hopefully that answers your question.